picture this, you're playing your gig, you've just finished a screaming guitar solo and you've got to roll off the volume on your guitar to clean up your guitar signal for a nice quiet section but tragedy! All the sweet high frequencies from your guitar tone have suddenly disappeared. The guitar volume pot and the cable and have worked together to create resistance and that makes your high frequencies disappear but don't worry I have your back with this great guitar mod and as a bonus it costs less than a guitar pick. Hi everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Rosper if you're new here and I have a mod that will significantly improve your guitar tone. We're talking about installing a treble bleed circuit in your guitar volume pot. Treble bleed circuits are an upgrade that is usually offered in more top of the line guitars or more custom made guitars but they are a mod that only costs a few pence and if you're going to buy a kit it will only cost you a couple of quid. They are unbelievably easy to install and they only require like the most basic soldering skills. The treble bleed circuit will be soldered in between the first and the middle lug of your volume pot. In this video I'll be talking about and showing you the three major treble bleed circuits that you might want to put in your guitar. First let's start with the basics. What is a treble bleed circuit? Normally when you turn your guitar down the resistance of the volume pot and the cable in your guitar leads to your high end just completely disappearing and slowly being filtered out the more you turn your guitar down. This can be very frustrating if you're using your volume pot to clean up your guitar signal by rolling off that volume but this is why the treble bleed was invented by very smart people. A treble bleed circuit helps you retain those high frequencies as you use your volume knob. This means that you can get the full potential out of your onboard guitar controls without compromising on your tone. There are two main components in these treble bleed circuits and you can get them for absolute pennies. One is a capacitor and the other is a resistor. Now when you buy these you will have to buy them in a kind of bulk order maybe 10, 20 etc but they still come in at a couple of pounds and when you consider that this is an upgrade that's usually offered on more upper end guitars yeah, the math works. Now, as I said, there are three main types of treble bleed circuit. So we are going to demo them and we're going to see what they sound like and you can choose which one's right for you. For this example, I am using my Fender Telecaster mainly because the controls are quite easily accessible and I have attached two little crocodile clips to the right and middle lug of my volume pot. So if you are experimenting with us at home, this is a really good way of changing out these different treble bleed circuits and it means that you don't have to go soldering and unsoldering every time you want to try them. Also, quick mention as well as treble bleed circuits, they don't rely on polarity or anything, so you can put them in either way. As far as parts are concerned, today I am using a one nanofarad capacitor and I am using a 150k ohm resistor. Changing the capacitor value and the resistor value slightly in either way will lead to a change in your treble bleed circuit so you can experiment more that way. I have also dropped a link in the description where you can buy yours too to see if you're looking. Now during the demo I'll compare it without the treble bleed and with the treble bleed. The first treble bleed circuit I'd like to mention is probably the most simple one and that is because it only uses a capacitor. Now this solution will retain all the high frequencies but you will find that a little bit of that low end might disappear or sometimes it can sound a little bit harsh and a little bit brittle. I'd only really recommend this solution for humbucker guitars especially in the neck pickup. There are resources online where you can look up for the exact capacitor for your guitar circuit. Tone is a completely subjective thing when it comes to guitar playing and if you experiment with a few different capacitors you will find the value that works for you. I wouldn't always rely on what a website tells you or what a table tells you. Let's hear that very first treble bleed circuit in action. The second example we're going to look at is probably the most common one that you will see in treble bleed kits 
and that is a capacitor and a resistor in parallel. So in our first example, we find that it was a little bit too bright. So the resistor is brought in here to kind of retain the low end as well as keeping those high end frequencies through your guitar volume pot. It is super effective and you can customize and tweak it. You can increase the amount of treble as you roll off by lowering the value of that resistor. Now there is still compromise in the circuit, although the tone is a lot more balanced as you move through your volume pot. The taper, that is how quickly or how slowly the volume drops off throughout your pot is changed. You'll find that from values 10 to 7, there will be hardly any drop off. In the mid, it might go quite natural. And then towards 3 until 1, it'll be quite a sharp drop off as well. So if you are used to playing with your volume pot, you might need to adjust the way that you roll that off to get the desired volume. Let's hear that parallel circuit in action. Third and last example we're going to look at is the series example. This has the treble bleed components, the capacitor and the resistor in series. Unlike in parallel, this combination does not change the taper of your volume pot. However, you will find that you will get a different kind of tone response from this circuit as compared to the one where it's in parallel. You'll find that this circuit has a little bit more of a kind of mid-range focus and you will find a slight taper between the low and high frequencies as you move down. Some people think it sounds natural. It kind of depends on what you want to retain throughout your volume pot. Let's hear this one in action. Installing a treble bleed circuit into your guitar is an absolute game changer of a mod and also it is unbelievably cheap and unbelievably easy to install. I hope that this video has helped you understand a little bit more about them and maybe answered some questions that you've already had. Now if you still have any questions about treble bleed circuits or soldering or installing them into your guitar please do drop that down in the comments. I always try my best to get back to everyone as quickly and as concise as possible. There is no one size fits all in treble bleed circuits so please do experiment with different values of capacitors and different values of resistors and find the one that works for your tone. If you like this video please do leave a like and if you'd like to see more please think about subscribing. But until the next video ta-ta.